can anyone explain the solving steps for these? Of course, I'm going to do A and C for you and then you try B and D on your own. Our goal is to figure out the exponential function that goes through these two points. To do so, we have to know the general form, which is y equals a times b to the x power. We are going to figure out a and b, and to do so, we have to use these two points. For the first point, we have 0, 1.3. That tells us x is 0, y is 1.3. So we can just plug in this value into here. Let's put down 1.3 here, and that's equal to a times b, we don't know, x is 0. For this one in particular, b to the 0th power is just nicely equal to 1, so we just have 1.3 equals a times 1, which doesn't matter. So we know a is equal to this right away. Then, we are going to use this point, x is 1.6 to 1, and then y is 4. Let's just plug in. So 4 in here equals a, which now we know is 1.3. So let's put that down. b we don't know. x is what? That 1.6 to 1. Now to solve this, because we have 1.3 times that, we have to isolate this part first, yeah? So let's go ahead and divide 1.3 on both sides. Uh, let me write down this first b to the 1.621's power and that is equal to 4 over that but I'm just going to keep it as how it is and then I will use a calculator for everything later on finally to get rid of this power we are just going to raise both sides to its reciprocal power and that is just 1 over 1.621 and then I'll do the same thing right here because this way when we have this situation, we multiply the powers and they cancel each other out. So we get a b by itself. And now, just make sure that you use the calculator, enter everything on it correctly and carefully, and you should get 2.00000417, so on. I will just leave it like that. So the answer for this exponential function is y equals a. We know it's 1.3 times b, which is that 2.0004, and then raised to the x power. So that's it for the first one. Now, for this question, we are given these two points. We do not have the y intercept. But if you take a look at the graph, of course, you can see the y intercept is at 0, comma, negative 2. Whenever you know that, Use that, it's easier. But I think this is the intended question, so I'll just stick with this. Sometimes they will just give you a picture like that. So let's go ahead and start with y equals a times b to the x power for exponential function. Here, if we don't know the y-intercept, here's a tip. Go ahead and start with the point that has the bigger x value. So I'm going to use this right here. I will tell you why this is easier in a minute. Let me put this right here for y. And then we will have a times b, and the x is 4. See, and like earlier, we don't know b to the fourth power, right? So if we don't have the y-intercept, this right here is slightly more difficult. But anyway, though, let's go ahead and look at the other point. Again, this is x and this is y. I'm going to plug in them into this right here as well. So this goes here, negative 1.125. That is equal to a times b, and the x is 2. Okay. So what we will have to do, it's actually a system of equations, meaning that we have you know, two equations with two unknowns. So how do we do this, though? Well, here is the best way to do it. Well, I'm just going to look at this and divide it by that, and then look at this and divide it by that. Why can we do that? Because remember, if we have an equation, we can always divide both sides by the same number as long as it's not equal to zero. And because we know this is equal to that, so I'm just going to do this divided by this, and this divided by that. So if you take a look, a divided by a is just one, 
and then b to the fourth power divided by b to the second power, you end up with b to the second power, because 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. That's why earlier, if you put the bigger x value first, right, it will be easier, because it's easier to subtract it this way. Now for this, I'm just going to leave it as how it is. We have negative divided by negative, which is positive. So we have 0 0.633 over 1.125. Now to solve for b, you can take the square root on both sides and just take the positive b value because the base for an exponential function has to be positive. Or let's be consistent. Let's go ahead, raise both sides to the reciprocal power, 1 over 2, which is the same as just the square roots on both sides. And then right here, b will be approximately, enter everything on your calculator, and I'll tell you b is 0 0.75, 0, 1, 1, and so on. But let me tell you, in fact, this was an approximation, all right? And then when you divide, b is actually exactly 0 0.75, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. All right, now we know b, we can just go ahead and plug in b value into one of these equations and up to you whichever one that you want to do. I'm going to plug into this one right here. So we have negative 1.125 times a, we don't know. So it's equal to a, we don't know times b which is 0 0.75 and then we will have to square that i'm just going to divide this on both sides so we get you no know, i'll just write down 0 0.75 and then square whatever this number is i will do that on the calculator later so a will be you do this and i will tell you the answer is negative 2. So finally, a is that, b is this, so we know y equals negative 2 times 0 0.75 raised to the x power.